when the effort was squeezed through dangerously by Yanko. Well, it was a decent touch, wasn't it? Got to, away from his marker, hit the shot on the turn. Not the best corner once again from Alaba. The touch is good, just swivels on it, gets his strike away. Keeper gets down smart that he's right to make the save there. Brady, Houlihan. That one got through to James McLean, and it was dipping, but just off target. I think it took a deflection on route through, and it should be a corner for Ireland. I'll tell you what, his touch was excellent, wasn't it, initially? Because it wasn't the easiest ball there to collect, and then he hit it with his right foot, which is weaker one. Deflection off the Austin defender. And he for a corner for Ireland. There's a strike coming in. James Hinteregger came out. That could have been anywhere. where you can see Oshan. Qualification for Euro 2016. Shook having a go, but uh, Randolph had seen that one from a long way out. Well, he's so far out here, isn't he? It was the wrong option. You know, football's about decision making, and the best players make the best decisions more often than not. But when he picks this up, I mean, there's no one really closing him down. But Klein made a great run from the right full back position, and yeah, and they've defended well. They're actually defending very deep, they're not allowing that space in behind. Artovic tries to slide it through, Savage room with the opening, and he doesn't take it, and nor does Janko from the follow-up. The closest either team has come to scoring, and the goal frame denies Sabitzer and Austria. I'll tell you what, this is brilliant play, what a lovely ball played through from Arnautovic from Sabitzer, just lifts it over the top of Darren Randolph, Vimmer tries to square it for Janko, he's only got three or four yards out, this is a lovely bit of skill. He's so unfortunate to see him come off the crossbar. And then Vimmer with the follow-up ball plays it across the face of the goal for Yanko. Just couldn't get shot on target. Coleman. Brady. Brady gets it back from Hula. Hannah Waters is sliding in and lifts it over. What an opportunity this is. I mean, he's on at full stretch, Jonathan Walters, but could he have done a little bit better? Great link-up play down the left-hand side from Brady and Houlihan. Look at this for a first-time ball into Brady, that's perfect. And Walters comes sliding in, just couldn't get his body over the top of the ball to keep it down. Outstanding chance, and only a six inches or so, just over the top of the crossbar. Goes. Looking for a free kick, but... His appeal rejected and Myler emerging with it. Houlihan with some space in which to operate, and he's managed to feed that one through to James McLean, who's got Walters in the middle, but goes for himself! And what a wise decision that proves to be! In the third minute of the second half, James McLean scores in this... And here Vimmer, he felt that was a free kick with the challenge by Myler on him. Referee, look at the position, he took absolutely brilliant. But just watch the vision here of Wes Houlihan. Good touch of his right foot, and then he picks out the perfect pass for James McLean, and he wasn't going to give up this opportunity. Through the legs, it looks like a those chat. Keeper coming across, trying to set his body there, it goes through the legs of the keeper. And that's a perfect start to the second half for Ireland. And what an important goal that could be for James McLean, who's been in great form for Ireland. A couple of goals against Macedonia recently, Moldova recently, and this... And it's Walters! It's 2-0! But the referee has seen the flag and it won't count. Oh, why did it go so early? Clearly sees in an offside position. And he's delivered into a fantastic error. Look at the goalkeeper, he's on his knees. 